Ladies and gentlemen, I am charismatic Christina Ritty, representing the Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park. You are contestant number four.
boys and girls, welcome aboard the SSS Railway. Bound for an exhilarating journey through our culture and heritage. Hold on tight, it's about to be a historical adventure. I am your 16-year-old guide, Juvisia Finch. We are currently second in line to depart for an excursion to a real treasure where history, culture, and a breathtaking floral converge to produce the gem that is Vomni Manor. This tour will take you through a dark past of a sugar plantation which once bound our ancestors and later on became the first estate in Sankit to declare our people as free men. As we journey on, be prepared to witness the beauty that blooms as our people are free. While you marvel at the stunning gardens that surround the manor house, blending both European and Caribbean stars, be on the lookout so that you may catch a glimpse of Caribbean batik, where artisans demonstrate the timeless batik process. Please turn on all personal electronic devices so that you may capture the rich history and traditions to remember this tour forever. Thank you for choosing the SSS Railway. Gentlemen, contestant number two. Boom! Flows of lava running wild. Orange sparks illuminating the bright blue skies. In 1692, Capistil came alive to the sounds of roaring and the harsh burning smell of molten lava. Mount Misery is alive. Hell has broken loose in its core, destroying flora and fauna by its flood. Who could imagine nature's devastation would yield the most tranquil tourism attraction? Marvel at the picture-perfect sights of waves lashing against the bold columns of solidified volcanic magma. This rock formation, described as an enigma that draws the local and the tourists to visit this unconventional beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, I am 14-year-old Alicia Palmer, encouraging you to become stewards and custodians of our unique treasure, Black Rocks. <laughs> Tina Ritty, contestant number four in an ensemble dubbed The Great Gibraltar. Miss. 
na 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 Boom I'm so proud to be a citizen of this land My blessed nation Together we stand So make me tell you about St. Kitts and Nevis At the nicest place on the ramp road Perched 230 meters high is the bastion Where the British and French fought to control the fertile Amiga lands for one century. Each stone was laid to build this fortress, which still stands 230 years later. Outstanding. What vast exuberance, as its endurance testifies to the arduous work of the army engineers and the slaves, as it connects our peaceful present to the turbulent past. Many agree that it is one of the best preserved historical fortifications. Thus, UNESCO has named this fortress as one of its World Heritage Sites. Millions marvel at the stories told by the displays of historic remnants, simply electrifying. Today, our national flag majestically flies high over this famous fortification. Ladies and gentlemen, I am 14-year-old Christina Ritty, as I present to you the Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park a historic symbol of the strength of our Kitchen people. Contestant number five, Kayla Benjamin, in a costume dubbed Le Fountain. Visitors would never guess 
The horrors that once was the life of this picture perfect canvas. The Paul Mall Square, as it was called back then, we christened in 1983 to commemorate the liberation of a nation that now stands proud and free. This historical site has transformed from the dark and is now one of St. Kitts' most important landmarks. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand firm before you, hands stretched high, representing the birthplace of freedom, the one and only Independence Square. I am 16-year-old Kayla Benjamin. Just the road. Everything is Stanisha, Stanisha, Stanisha. Why, mommy? Why did you have to name me like him? Why? Every day brings back the memories, the hurt, the pain, knowing I won't see him again. They don't know the pain I'm going through. Every day to keep a smile on my face. And no, they don't want to know either. Most days, I don't want to go to school because them is the biggest hypocrites up there. First thing in the morning, I am meet at the gate with all kind of negativity and assumptions to why my face looks so and how I do. They never stop to think I must be having a hard time coping with my father's death. Don't even get me started with the teachers and students. Whether I'm there or not, it's always something negative. My father's death is affecting me. And they just sit aside and judge me. I am hurting so much inside. heavy from those nights Let's just remember that you are a fighter, a fighter You never know just what tomorrow holds And you're stronger than you know 
know. She used to be a nice dark chocolate in school, you know. Well, well. Watch your bedroom band and tell the girl them bow browning. All the girl them around go bleach out them skin. Because them want brown skin. Fire! As the songs of Solomon says in the scriptures, you are black and comely. And so when I see you young people created in the beautiful black image of the Almighty, going down that road of destruction of sin, destroying their beautiful black complexion with all kinds of deadly chemical mixtures and potions. I say, Lord, wash them and cleanse them of this poisonous mental state of inferiority and self-hate. When you bleach out your skin color, you are dissing the master creator, your maker. As if your black skin is a curse or a sin. So you try to erase every trace of your African race by putting on that fake mask to hide your true self behind a white looking gobby face. So don't care how you try to change your skin tone, you will forever remain African to the bone. As James Brown sings in his redemption, Say Lord, I'm black and I'm proud. Say Lord, I'm black and I'm proud. How many more? How many more hearts must be broken? How many more words must go unspoken? How many men will have to die? How many women will be left to cry? How many children won't crack a smile? How many meters until we walk the final mile? How come you stand so straight at all while my fellow men are forced to crawl? How come you never seem to see all the pain and suffering you're causing me? How many more tears must fall from the sky until you stop using my brother and I? Man, oh man, are you the man if you watch them waste away just for you? to make another million and stash it all away. The young, the old, the helpless, they die because of you. Their blood are on your hands. I hope you see it too. I hope you meet your maker. I hope you meet him soon. And on the day that you are buried in that cold and empty tomb, the grave digger will dig your grave deep and dig it wide because it's not just your dead body that will have to fit inside. And for now, the cannons and guns are silent. And now, the smoke has passed. My black people stand tall and strong, independently free at last. history. A quote by Philip McGraw is depicted throughout Keller's talent, which represents freedom from slavery. Kayla is the modern day Harriet Tubman, working with her ancestors to set them free from the slave master's bondage. Welcome on stage. 
the modern day Harriet Tubman, the symbol of liberation. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Miss Independence Square, Kayla Benjamin. Let's make her welcome. <laughs> I've been walking with my face turned to the sun. Weight on my shoulders, a bullet in my gun. Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head, just in case I have to run. People, while the clouds roll back and the stars fill the night, that's when I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are going to our brand new home, far across the river. Can you hear freedom call? You 
spotlights on, everybody's staring. Tell all of these boys that wasting their time. Stop standing in line, cause you're all mine. And this evening I won't let the feeling die. I never want to leave your side. Out of all of the girls, you're my one and only girl. Ain't nobody in the world tonight. All of the stars, you make them shine like they were. Ain't nobody in the world but it indeed, isn't she? Yes. We welcome contestant number two, Juvisia Finch. Juvisia's dress embodies Batik's unique art forms that dates to the 18th century. It tells the story of the endless waves found in the blue ocean traversed by the Amerindians as she moves elegantly across the stage in a mermaid design. The colors and grand designs were distinctly chosen to highlight the struggle from slavery as seen in the red fabric the yellow symbolizes the year-long sunshine that gleams upon the vibrant flora blooming in the lush green gardens. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome contestant number two, Juvisia Finch. Everybody's staring Tell all of these 
these boys that wasting their time Stop standing in line Cause you're all mine And this evening I won't let the feeling die I never wanna leave your side Out of all the girls You're my one and only girl Ain't nobody in the world tonight All of the stars You make them shine like Ladies and gentlemen, wow, amazing and alluring, quite a lot of talent at this school indeed. We now welcome contestant number three, Alicia Palmer. Let's explore the Zulu Ethnography. This evening, Alicia showcases Zulu African princess dubbed Akulanze Tele. It represents traditional fashion sensibilities of the Zulu culture through foreign influences. The bodice emphasizes innocence and growth as the gown cascades to the floor with various voluminous layers of white and the African print together signifying the purity of this Zulu princess through her stages of maturity. Her outfit is complemented with gold accessories and transparent shoes while attached to her head is an Aichikolo hat. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Okolanzekile, contestant number three. <laughs> your makeup just so guess you don't know that you're beautiful try on every dress that you own you will find in my eyes a half hour ago and if your mirror won't make it any clearer I'll be the one to let you staring tell all of these boys that wasting their time stop standing in line cause you're all mine and this evening I won't let the feeling die I never want to leave your side cultural vibrance indeed contestant number three Alicia Palmer. We now make welcome contestant number four, Christina Ritty. 
She represents the Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park. Embracing us with her floral ambience as she cascades effortless across the stage. A trail of pure bliss is set ablaze in the midst of it all, a new era blossoms. She is exquisitely dressed in an African design of the Spathodia Camponelette, which is one of the most spectacular flowering plants on the African continent. A modern twist, this gown is a figure flattering, easy to wear silhouette, often created for girls matriculating to their teenage years as they gracefully grow into an African woman. The gown features African kinte fabric, petals, and intricately placed applique. As she glides the combination of textures, dance giving the illusion of stars sweeping the sky over Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, she exudes nothing short of sovereignty, florally poised and florally polished. We present to you Miss Brimstone Hill, contestant number four, Christina Ritti in African evening wear, styled Flo Africa. Miss Ritti. <laughs> your makeup just so guess you don't know that you're beautiful try on every dress that you own you were fun in my eyes a half hour ago and if your mirror won't make it any clearer I'll be the one to let you Everybody staring Tell all of these boys that wasting their time Stop standing in line Cause you're all mine And this evening Gentlemen, contestant number four. Contestant number five, Kayla Benjamin. Kayla gracefully enters the stage in a royal blue gown that epitomizes the resilience of our people. Paying homage to our ancestors, 
The gown is tailored with hints of African fabric on the sleeves and in between the ruffles of the skirt. The bodice of the gown is enhanced with sequins and cascades down to the skirt of the gown. Around the waist is an embellished waistband that hugs Kayla's waist perfectly. This gown, in more ways than one, portrays the midnight sun being kissed by the light of the moon. It is a representation of our faith, hope, and joy, even in our deepest struggles. Kayla Benjamin, in a gown entitled Purposely Resilient, contestant number five. Oh, if you fix your makeup just so Guess you don't know that you're beautiful Try on every dress that you own You will find in my eyes a half hour if your mirror won't make it any clearer, I'll be the one to let you Everybody's staring Tell all of these boys that wasting their time Stop standing in line Cause you're all mine And this evening Number five, Kayla Benjamin. And there you had it. The five contestants, feast your eyes at the common stage once more in their African wear. Contestant number one, here she is. Followed by contestant number two. Followed by contestant number three. Followed by contestant number four. Ladies and gentlemen, followed by contestant number four. Here they are, the four beautiful ladies of the Sadler Secondary High School! Wow! 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 We must say co-hosts, it's a well done job for these African wear. Certainly. Very lovely. And elegant. Toys and elegant. Real elegant. Before our very eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the four contestants. Wow. 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 You want to see them again? <laughs> Somebody come say he want to see them again. If we bring them again, it shall not run done. The first question is from her bio. A 
And the second question would be about her sponsorship, where she will select one number from the jar, and then she will say which number, and then we'll give her the corresponding question. So you're going to get two questions. First one from your bio. Are you ready, Miss Bergen? Huh? Are you ready? Yes. yes. Face the audience. Okay, your first question from your bio. Miss Bergen, you mentioned that your lifelong goal is to become a hairstylist and entrepreneur. Can you tell us some qualities one should possess in order to achieve this goal? You mentioned that your lifelong goal is to become a hairstylist and an entrepreneur. Can you tell us some qualities one should possess in order to achieve this goal? I wanted to become a hairstylist because um, I wanted to make people feel that they are beautiful how they are. And to achieve my goals, I want to finish my school year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And your second question now, what number do you have, may I ask? I have number one. Number one. Your question. The Berkeley Memorial is a beautiful edifice that stands tall in Bastyr. What else can you tell the audience about the Berkeley Memorial? I'll repeat. The Berkeley Memorial is a beautiful edifice that stands tall in Bastyr. What else can you tell the audience about the Berkeley Memorial? Thanks for that question. The Berkeley Memorial was designed and produced by George Smith of Glasgow, Scotland and was erected in 1883 and was for a long time the only public monument commemorate this individual of St. Kitts and Nevis by Thomas Hartman Berkeley. Thank you. Very well done. Thank you very much, contestant number one. Miss Adriana Bergen. Yes. Juvisia, your first of two questions. You have mentioned your ability to overcome challenges. Share with us one challenge you encountered, encountered, I beg your pardon, throughout preparations for this pageant and how you overcame it. I'll repeat. You have mentioned your ability to overcome challenges. Share with us one challenge you, you encountered, encountered throughout preparations for this pageant and how you overcame it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. One challenge I faced during the course of my pageantry was the hate from my peers, and I, I overcame that by having one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions with the guidance counselor and building my self-esteem. Very well done. Very well done, Jovicia. And your second question, may I ask your number, please? Number two. Number two. Your question. Having visited Romney Manor, what were three things that stood out for you at this historical site? I'll repeat. Having visited Romney Manor, what were three things that stood out for you at this historical site? Three things that stood out to me were the peacefulness of the gardens, the vividness of the batik when hung out to dry, and of course, the 400-year-old cemetery that has towered in the center of Carver Batik. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you very much, Jovicia. Contestant number three. 
Okay, we're just changing our position for better ease of the contestants. Contestant number three. Alicia Palmer. Select your question. Question number one. Question number one. I'll ask you two questions. The first question is from your bio. Your question, Alicia. You have expressed an interest in joining the judicial system when you get older. What is one thing you look forward to changing about our judicial system? What inspired you to want to become a judge? I repeat, you have expressed an interest in joining the judicial system when you get older. What is one thing you look forward to changing about our judicial system and what inspired you to want to become a judge? Thank you for that question. What inspired me to want to become a judge is to be in court and when people come with their cases I would look into it and make the right choice so justice is served for who deserve it. Very well said. Very well said. And your question number was? Number... Question number one. Number one. Black rocks, also known as black sea or black stone, is described as an unusual and unique place. What makes this heritage site unique and an and, and unusual place to visit? I'll repeat. Black Rocks, also known as Black Sea or Black Stone, is described as an unusual and unique place. What makes this heritage site unique and an unusual place to visit? Thank you for that interesting question. What makes Black Rocks an unusual and unique place to visit is the picturesque view of the mountainside, the unusual shaped rocks by the sea, um, the look off deck, the pathway to go to the natural pools, the individual vendors in the style designed as chattel houses. I thank you. Thank you very much. Well said. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three. Contestant number four, Christina Witte. Uh, I am nervous. Hello, Christina. Hi. You will select your question at this time, your number? Um, number one. Number one. Yes. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions. First one is from your bio, and then we'll go to your second question. Okay. Christina, you said you highlighted your father as your role model. How has he inspired you 
throughout your preparations for this show. I repeat, you highlighted your father as your role model. How has he inspired you throughout your preparations for this show? Thank you for the interesting question. I chose my father as my role model because he's a very hardworking man and he supports me in most things I do. I thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Father figure, very important. And your question? Number one. Okay. Brimstone Hill is also known as the Gibraltar of the West Indies. Can you please tell the audience why it is re referred to as such? I repeat, Brimstone Hill is also known as the Gibraltar of the West Indies. Can you please tell the audience why it was referred to as such? I thank you for this question. Brimstone Hill is known for as the Gibraltar of the West Indies because of its strong structure and the fact that it was the first fort to be built in the West Indies. I thank you. Thank you very much. Very well said. Contestant number four. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our final contestant, contestant number five. We welcome contestant number five, Kayla Benjamin. Hello, Kayla. Hello, Miss Doa. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's good to hear. <laughs> what is your number? Question number three. Number three, okay. I'll ask you two questions, one from your bio, the first one. Kayla, what steps are you taking now to achieve your lifelong goal of becoming an actress? I repeat, what steps are you taking now to achieve your lifelong goal of becoming an actress? Thank you for that question, Mrs. Doa. Well, I don't really have a lot of steps, but I could list a few. One would be starting my training by using TikTok demo reels. And two, getting into more local plays to get myself more educated and stuff. And the last one would be, in the future, I plan to go to theater art school at the Edna Manley College in Jamaica. Very good response. Very good. Your question, your second question. The Independence Square is an integral historical site in St. Kitts. Do you agree? Can you share a brief historical background of the Independence Square? I repeat, the Independence Square is an integral historical site in St. Kitts. Do you agree? Can you share a historical background of the Independence Square? Thank you for that question, Mrs. Dua. Now everyone, listen carefully as I update you with a little Sugar City history. The government acquired the square in the late 1770s and renamed it in the 1980s when St. Kitts and Nevis had political independence. The square has the significance of being a, of being a site to the slave markets. As I stated earlier in my speech, it was home to imprisonment, trades, auctions, and sale of men, women, and children. Where the fountain now stands was where they used to auction the Africans who were housed in the basements of several surrounding buildings on the south side of the square. And that is why I agree that the Independence Square is an integral historical site on my idyllic island. Thank you. Excellently said. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of that category. So we are winding down very nicely, host. Co-host, please don't go nowhere. Just before we bring the band selection, the lady with the raffle box, please come. Please come, let's do the raffle. Co-host, you could please wear diamond. Wow. I will now call on my co-host to come on stage. Yes, I'll now call on my co-host to come on stage. So, co-host, I will now turn it over to you for you to call the representative. And, uh, all right. I know you like this part of the show. Host. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we have been waiting for all evening. We now invite the senior minister, Dr. the Honorable Denzel L. Douglas, parliamentary representative for constituency number six to join us on stage. And we also invite the principal, Mrs. Julia Byron Isaac, to join us as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. At this point, we will be distributing the trophies, the participation trophies. We are just kindly awaiting Miss Samuel to join us on stage. Okay, we're going to give special prizes at this time. We have the Miss Amity goes to, that prize goes to contestant number two, Juvisia Finch.
The Miss Photogenic Award goes to contestant number one, Andrena Bergen. goes to contestant number four she gets the award for the committee sorry she gets the committee chairperson award Christina Witte contestant number four who sold the most tickets gets a special award and that contestant is contestant number three Alicia Palmer award goes to constituency number four, sorry, contestant number four, Miss Christina Witte. Co-host, 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 co-host. That was best speech. Best ambassadorial speech is who? Is who? Co-host, could you please tell them? Contestant number four, Christina Witte. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Best Talent. Best talent. Who you think of best talent? Who you think of best talent? Co host, could you please tell them best talent? Best talent is contestant number one, Adriana Bergen. Best talent. I know how you're going to grumble now. I know how you're going to talk all kind of things. No. Judge's decision is final. Best talent. Best talent. Best teenage wear. You always looking. Best teenage wear. You always looking. Best teenage wear is who? Is who? Best teenage wear. Tell them co host. Contestant number five, Kayla Benjamin. Best teenage wear. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, yeah, it really look lovely, no lie. Best interview. Best interview. Not say it yet, co-host. 
Let the principal get the slash on. All right. Best interview is up. Mickey, are here. Best interview is up. Coach, could you please tell them best interview? Contestant number five, Kayla Benjamin. Wow, 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 wow. Best interview. Okay. Sorry? Okay. Co-host is going to give a little rundown of the sponsors. And then we're going to get back to the... So, co-host, could you please give me a rundown of the sponsors for this evening's show? Let me just mention that the second one up will receive a $50 gift card from Harper's, a $100 cash prize from Tasty's Pizza, Pacer's House in Kayon, and a voucher for one medium-sized pizza. A gift from Bejewel Accessories and a gift from Schools Apex. The first runner-up will receive a $50 gift card from Harper's, a gift card from First Class Jewelry, gift package from Bejewel Accessories, $150 cash prize from Warren Bratcher of BCA, free three months cable internet upgrade from the cable, and a gift from the school's apex. And the queen will receive a $200 gift certificate from Law's Bookstore, a $200 gift certificate from Elite Cakes and Pastries, $250 cash prize from Tasty Pieces House in Kayon, one voucher for a large piece from Domino's, six gift packets, one gift package from BT Duty Free, one gift package from First Class Jewelry, one gift package from Warren Bratcher at BCA, one gift package from Bejeweled Accessories, and free three months cable internet upgrade from the cable. Co said, Co host, this is the finals, like yes. second, first, and. Yes. And I want you to get no words. So, me head big. Let me take the paper here. You pretty, you stay to the back. Are you ready? Second runner up. Okay, so before we go, these runner up, co host, you missed one. Best ambassadorial wear. Uh, sorry, she didn't have the the best ambassador wear here. So, so uh, we will have to uh, It's not on the paper, so we'll have to work it out after. All right, one minute. Hold on one minute. Stop mumbling. Girl, 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 I'm glad Molly know how to come upon you. Because you are supervisor any business establishment. And I thought that, Molly, if you got that, delete that. Mikado. Come we want the business to, to get more work. All right, we will, uh... Okay. One minute, we'll get it sorted out. Just be with us. One minute.
All right. All okay, right. thank you very much, Madam Principal. We have one more prize to give, and that's the best ambassadorial wear. And that goes to contestant number four. Contestant number four gets the best ambassadorial wear. Christina Ritti. All right. All right. Thank you very much, co-host, for a well-done job. Second runner-up! Second runner-up! With a total of 681.5 is none other than... Contestant number one. Contestant number one, second runner up. Hold on, hold on. We think we have a slight mix up here. Oh dear, no. There's this is how they write the numbers. Second runner up is contestant number three. It's not about cheating. It's how they have their numbers, they label all the contestants, but over here where they put the points, they still have different numbers. So we was getting a slight mistake, so we're getting it work out, all right? Okay, all right. Principal work it okay. out for us. Yes. So we are on good track. We are correct. All right. Second one up. Second one up is contestant number one. Yes. All right. First one up. First one up. First one up with a total of six hundred and eighty-nine point five is none other than who calls. Contestant number four. First runner up. I hear them. Cohorts, you hear them? Bands. Nothing soft for you, ladies. They're going to come queen. Nice bands. Give me something soft, no? to take a picture with the ladies the principal so just bear in mind give us a chance then you guys the parents could come and have your snap ladies and gentlemen boys and girls are you ready Southern secondary high school we're talking about the miss heritage pageant queen for 2023 are you
Job, job, 